Oslo is the capital of Norway. To walk around Oslo is a really relaxed thing to do. You can feel nature all around you. It's a clean, easy place built for walking, cycling, making your own way around. 2018 is a special year for Oslo. The King and Queen celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary. The iconic Opera House celebrates its 10 year anniversary. And every year, Lonely Planet puts together its pick of the best places in the world for travelers to go to. And for 2018, Oslo has been chosen as one of the best cities to visit. To visit Oslo at the moment is to visit a city reinventing itself. It's going to be easier than ever to come to Oslo with a new terminal that has been lauded one of the world's greenest. Down by the waterfront, one of the city's most famous landmarks, the Oslo Opera House. This is built of marble and glass and is specifically designed so that visitors can walk across the roof or walk past and see rehearsals taking place inside. If you visit now, you're halfway through the creation of what will be known as the Barcode District. These high-rise buildings have been lined up so that from a distance, it will look as though you're reading a barcode. Oslo is a fantastic city when it comes to art and culture. It has the world's best preserved Viking ship, for example, and a museum specially built for it where you can walk around and see the shadows of the great curves of the boats against white walls. I was quick to follow with one of the most famous paintings in the world, The Scream. Almost everybody knows that iconic picture of anguish and despair and yet sort of celebration of nature, but the viewpoint is actually here in Oslo itself. I took a walk out to the Ekeberg Park, a little bit of a steep walk, and arrived out of breath to see the landscape that inspired artist Munch himself. And you can visit a Munch museum because there's so much more to the work that this particular artist did in Oslo. Another place that I really loved was the Astro Fernley Museum. It's modern and contemporary. The building itself is worth a visit for its glass and ship-like structure. And inside it has a lot of thoughtful, provocative work from Damien Hirst, for example, and a changing roster of exhibitions from all around the world. It's always fun to get to know the food and drink of a place, and Oslo is no exception. I went to the Marthallen, a new reinvented food court, and tried one of the specialties, king crab, with a Southeast Asian fusion dish. And what I can safely tell you is it was a big, sticky mess, but completely worth it. First thing in the morning when you need coffee to get going, Norway's the place for you. Only Finland drinks more coffee than the Norwegians per head. And out in the Green Aloka district, you can head for coffee at Tim Venelbo. They roast their own beans on site, there are no tourists there. It's a lovely spot to get an idea of modern Oslo. Rather more glamorous in style was the bar I went to called Himkirk, where they have award-winning cocktails being listed in one of the top 50 bars in the world. Once the sun goes down, Oslo has quite a lively but cultured night scene. I was in town for the Oslo Jazz Festival, an event that takes place in lots of different places across the city, but in quite quiet, intimate venues. You can jostle your way in and then close your eyes and really let yourself go with the music. If rock is more your thing, then the Oya Festival also comes highly recommended. And if you're looking for an outfit for your big night out, then head to the Green Locker District where there are vintage shops, boutique shops, shops galore. I love the outdoorsy aspect of life in Oslo. It's a city that's surrounded by nature in terms of green forests and its own fjord, but nothing really gets you quite as close to nature as hopping in a kayak and getting on the Oslo fjord itself. And if you want any kind of confirmation that people in Oslo love nature, almost everywhere you look, someone's stripping off, jumping in for a swim. Oslo gives the feeling of being a young city looking towards the future, but it's still got its past that stretches back centuries. Oslo is a great place to come to get a taste of life here in Norway.